guys. Um, John and I are heading down to Phoenix. Um, just it's Saturday morning, and we're coming back tomorrow afternoon. Uh, we just decided to go down and see John's brother and his wife, and there's um, UFC fights tonight, and <laughs> we're into those. So, um, so we're gonna do that. I need to go to. Bed Bath & Beyond. We used to have a Bed Bath & Beyond in Flagstaff forever and it closed during COVID. So anyway, I just need some towels and so I'm going to do that and um, that Monica, if you can see her back there. Um, I've also got um, my laptop in my lap because I'm on the board for a women's retreat and we have a board meeting this morning and I had totally forgotten when we made plans to come down that we had that so they're going to be calling me in a few minutes and I'm going to attend the meeting uh, over the phone, well FaceTime or something. But um, I don't know, do we have any other plans for while we're down there? Going out to eat somewhere? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, kind of nice to get out of Flagstaff and go somewhere except that it's supposed to be 99 degrees in Phoenix today. Tomorrow, I think the high is supposed to be 92. That's pretty high. I mean, today's what, May 1st? Seems, seems kind of early. Is that early for it to be that hot? We were just noticing that there's like this st steady stream of cars coming up the hill from Phoenix. Everybody's, and lots of tra uh, like RVs and trailers and stuff like that. I think people are just like, we we're we're not ready for this heat. So a lot of people coming up and we're heading down to the heat. Oh, nice. This is Ellie. She likes some warm. Ellie, no kisses from you, poop eater. That's what we hear about you. Gracie, Gracie. Gracie, hi, you big old dog. Hi, you big old dog. Come here, Gracie. Oh, you big old dog. Hi, hi, you big No, that, that one sound is Gracie. Okay, guys, I love spring in Phoenix. I mean, I really do. I'm, there's not a lot about Phoenix that I'm crazy about because it's such a huge city and hot in the summer, really hot. But spring is absolutely lovely. Can you hear that? What is that bird? A dove? Anyway, it's uh, Sunday morning and we're gonna go over, I think, to Cracker Barrel. Is that right? I don't know. There's another place. We have a Cracker Barrel in Flagstaff, and we never go there. <laughs> um, so there's another place. What is it called? Something Hen Cafe? The Hen, House Cafe? the Hen House Cafe. So, all that to say, we're going someplace for breakfast, then we're heading over to Bed Bath & Beyond to get some towels, but I am just so happy to be wearing capris and short sleeve shirt and flip flops and it's just a lovely time. You know, whenever I come down here in the spring, I always kind of think, why did we move away? And then all I have to do is wait another month, <laughs> a couple months, and then I'm reminded why we moved to Flagstaff. But it really is, it's just beautiful. Totally not plant-based today. When I come to a restaurant like Cracker Barrel or, you know, Greasy Spoon, I need to get chicken fried steak. Have to. 
John has biscuits and gravy. So after eating that chicken fried steak and biscuits and this, oh my gosh, this, what was it called? Hash brown casserole? Oh, that was really good. But it was cheesy and just had a lot of fat and grease and it's been probably a half hour or so since I finished eating and I, my stomach is just not <laughs> sitting well and I don't or it's not sitting well with my stomach, but I normally don't have issues like that with my stomach hurting and it just, yeah, it just shows you after you've been eating plant-based for a while and then you eat a lot of something like that, it doesn't feel so great. Ugh. So what I ended up getting at Bed Bath & Beyond were these Turkish bath towels. They're by Olivia and Oliver and, ugh, these are not exactly the same as our old towels, but they're close. We couldn't find a match for what we had. Um, they're not the same kind of stripey pattern and not the same color. So we had to get another set and they're pricey. I think each one of these bath towels is $30 and the hand towels are maybe 15 a piece. We got three bath towels and four hand towels. But they are so soft and they stay in such good shape for such a long time. And I wouldn't have even gotten a new set had it not seemed like we needed. I just, I, I just didn't buy enough towels. We needed a third bath towel and I had only had two hand towels before and I just like to trade them out more frequently. But these are the softest things. So, yeah. And the lady there had a coupon, the lady at the register, for 20 off 80 which was nice. So we got $20 off, but we still, you know, paid quite a lot for these. But they'll last years, and they'll stay soft, really nice. The one annoying thing about them is that when you first wash them, the first several times, they're very sheddy. And so when you pat yourself dry, you get a lot of lint on your skin. But after, you know, washing them three or four times, then they're just nice and soft and wonderful, and we love them. Hey guys, changed the position of my camera holder. It seems so weird to have it like right in front of my face. It's not really, it's kind of off, off to the side, but it looks like it is. So we had a great time down in Phoenix. It was too bad that we only got to stay overnight one night and uh but the kitties were i think they were happy to have us home i think they were happy to have things feel like normal monica's exhausted today because of playing with gracie the whole time and oh i was going to tell you for those of you who have dogs monica gets really restless in the evenings and i've been trying to figure out what to do to occupy her time and if i give her these big rawhide chewies she just, for some reason, won't chew on them. She walks around with them but and buries them, but she doesn't chew them. So I got her these little ones, but then she just crunches them down in, you know, like a minute and a half. And so I'm, I've been trying to come up with something. Well, Gracie, the pit bull, uh, she has these puzzles, dog puzzles, and she has to, like pull out use you know pull on a string and open a drawer to get a little treat and then you know just all these different um all these different things that she has to do step on something that pops a door open and so i bought two of those for monica on chewy.com they some of them they had were buy one get one 50 percent off so uh, we'll see how it goes and apparently they give you instructions for how to teach your dog to do it because I don't at Boston Terriers are not the brightest bulbs in the box so I don't know how she'll do with that but um, she's definitely treat she's very treat motivated so I think that I think that may be the catalyst for getting her to try to 
learn it and figure it out. She's good at, you know, she was always good at learning tricks. I, I have not taught her any new tricks recently, but when she was, you know, like a year old or under a year old, I taught her sit, shake, high five, lay down, roll over, and uh, ballerina. She spins around in a circle on her back legs. And so, and she still knows them, even if I go forever without it. Okay, here was my big thing of the day. Put up my walls of water. As you can see, I've got space for nine. Last year, I planted my tomatoes over in this area, which is bigger, but I do crop rotation just so that I can eliminate problems with pests and uh, soil depletion, the nutrient depletion and stuff like that. So this is smaller. I had, I think I had 12 tomato plants last year, so nine this year, but I actually have more sauce than I'm probably gonna be able to use up before the end of the summer. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna plant the tomatoes tomorrow. And let's see, what is today? May 3rd. So I, I will be planting my tomatoes on the 4th and bring on summer. Doesn't feel very much like summer, but I'm excited for it to come. I also got two more big pillows from mypillow.com. This one is uh, a king size and you put it in the put it in the dryer for 15 minutes and it fluffs it all up. So I got two king size ones. We're going to take the the queen size or standard size that I got before and I've been using that and I really like it. And I'm going to put that in our guest bedroom as an option for people. It's made of like individual pieces of foam. You can feel them in here. And so it feels like if you run your hand along it, it's kind of bumpy. You can feel that. But it doesn't feel bumpy and weird on your skin, but you can kind of bunch it however you want for wherever you need support. And then the other thing I got was two roll and go pillows that you can take on trips. And so here are the, this is one of the roll and go pillows and you get to pick out your cover on this. And so it's really small, but the idea is that if you're in a hotel room or something that you could set this on top of another, like get a flat pillow that they have and put this on top and then it feels the same as your own pillow at home. It's not as thick, but because you can place it on top of another pillow, it sort of feels like the pillow at home. And so here's what you do with it. You roll it up and like this part, part right here, this pocket fits over the end, but you roll it up and then you've got this little thing that you can pack and take with you and uh, take it on a, any kind of trip, or if it's you just need something to sit behind your head when you're in the car, or put it behind your back for support when you're in the car, you could do that too. So kind of cool, yeah. So if you watch my previous, oh, it was one of my one of my previous vlogs, and it says in the title of it, it mentions my pillow. If you go on there, it gives a couple of codes, coupon codes. One is, I think it was a $10 off if you signed up, sign up for text messages. And then as soon as you use it, you can just cancel the text messages if you don't want any more of those. And then the other one is a coupon code that drops the price of, I think, everything that you put in your cart. It drops it by a certain percent. Maybe it's 20% or 25%. They do take a long time to deliver. They've been having, I guess their um, delivery times have been slowed down because they're having a hard time during COVID getting the foam that they use inside the pillows. And so I don't know if they're, they have, they sell bed toppers and also sheets and dog beds. I don't know if the, the sheets and the toppers are delayed too, or, you know, if it's everything or if it's just the pillows, but this probably took uh, five or six weeks before it came, and my other pillows took a month before they came. So just, you know, if you place an order, just know it's going to be delayed. But they did send us, this was an even longer shipping time, and they sent us a $25 gift card for our, another order. Mm -hmm.